Okay, one last video tonight. Anyways, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. Remember, this video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm basically saying is that I'm not responsible for anything you did, are doing, or will do after, during, or whatever watching this video. So be responsible. That's all I'm trying to tell you is just be responsible. Anyways, if you saw the video literally just prior to this one, I kind of talked about the taste, the, the taste difference between the two. They're pretty much like the same family right? Like this would be the big brother. This would be the little brother. This one is 70 proof, 35% by, by volume. This one is 30, right? Was that right? I keep missing this on the label. Okay, there we go. So 30%, right? Alcohol by volume and then 60 proof. So not only does this one have less alcohol content, it also has less sugar. This one has more alcohol content and a little more sugar. So this one's like a little bit sweeter than this one is. What does that translate into for me? For me, what that translates into is this one has a more depth and deeper body to it. Like it, it lingers longer. It dwells, right? Dwell time. If you remember that from like the last four years, but basically it just, it has like, it's rich. Ooh, that's lush. You know, that kind of a vibe. But the, the primary hit that you get off of this is cola. Like, I know there's some people out there that really have finicky or very fine-tuned taste buds. They're like, oh, it's got a notes of this and hints of that and whatever. Just keep it simple. This is a cola amato, right? This is a cola bitter. That's how I would describe it. So cola is the primary flavor here. This one is the younger brother. So if this is the big brother, this would be the younger brother. This one is all that same action going on, just lighter like toned down by maybe i would say it's i would say if this is a hundred percent this is like 75 percent of what this one is maybe 80 percent just to be fair so this is 20 percent less potency like in terms of body flavor lushness richness you kind of get the idea so here's how like i would take this information right extrapolate it Conjunction, junction, what's your function? How would I use it? So let's say, for instance, like Total Wine discontinued this, which they just did, right? I found I'm, tears heard around the world, right? Kitten in tears, not having room for jello pudding, couldn't describe the overrun sadness I'm experiencing right this second because Total Wine discontinued this. Or they discontinued carrying it, I should say. So is it worth it to me to travel to like a specialty wine and spirit shop and purchase this again in the future? Yeah, you know, depending on the price and how much somebody like really want it, you know, that kind of, it, it all depends, right? The things we do for whatever. So I can replace this now with this, with the Maro di Toscana. And yeah, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be, you know, a pretty close, you know, pretty close swap, if that's what you want to call it. So let's take it a step further, right? Like what can I do that Kinoto, that was another note I wanted to make was Kinoto. If you're familiar with the non-alcoholic Italian beverage Kinoto, it's basically like a, like a bitter soda. That's what both of these taste like, right? They taste like the adult alcohol version of Kinoto. So keep that in mind. But how would I take that a step further? Okay, so let's talk about this. So Aperol, right? Aperol, I, I finished my bottle tonight. Aperol is more in the citrus side, right? So if this is cola, this is more citrus. Like I said, there are other fine notes and, and hints and wisps of whatever, you know, you could go on and on as much as you want to. You have a more sophisticated nose, taste bud, stomach, you know, appraisal system than I do. I'm no expert. I'm not trying to be an expert. What I'm trying to say is this is cola, this is cola, this is citrus, and then bitter, right? Which is Amato in Italian. So within the Amati line of beverages, meaning like within those bitter, digestivo, aperitivo, so digestive and aperitifs, if you're looking for something cola, right? Either to do straight, right? Neat, you wanna do it on the rocks, you wanna do it mixed with something, whatever the case may be, and you want cola, these two are pretty much, I would say, very close to being exact, interchangeably interchangeables of each other. Conjunction, junction, what's their function? Okay, Aperol, on the other hand, is a more like citrus vibe. Mellow, very light. This is only, what is that, 11% by volume, right? Alcohol by volume, so keep that in mind. So it's very mellow, very mild. 
Campari would be the next one, like in this realm of citrus. And it's a huge leap because Campari now you're talking about spice. You're talking about just more like the same way in the same way that Chinar is the big brother, right? And Amaro di Toscana is the little brother of the Chinar. I would say Campari, let's put Campari here. Campari would be the big brother. Aperol is the little brother. So are they interchangeable? Yeah, but not quite exactly, right? So it's the same kind of thing here. I think actually these two are more close to being interchangeable than Campari and Aperol. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. What I did want to make one other notation is the, the Kinoto comparison. Chinar to the non-alcoholic Kinoto is pretty much like a one-to-one. -one. If you add some Aperol to the Chinar, you get closer to, to that Kinoto. Let's call it, even though it's a simple Italian bitter soda, when you add Aperol to the Chinar and now you're turning it into like an adult beverage, you get closer to that Kinoto complexity. Okay, this one on the other hand, the Amaro di Toscana, if you're looking for an adult Kinoto, when you add this to the Aperol or Aperol to this, what you get is a little bit less on the Kinoto and more on this one. This is the San Bitter, right? Because it's a little more, it's not as sugary, right? So I don't have a Kinoto here because usually when I drink them, I, I don't, I've, they're so expensive. I forget to keep the bottles and like, I forget to buy it all over again because I really don't want to because they're too expensive. But anyways, the, the, because this has less sugar, San Bitter also has less sugar. This has more sugar and the Kinoto has more sugar. Does that make sense? So this is more similar to Kinoto and this is more similar to San Bitter. And if you know the difference between the Kinoto and the San Bitter, more power to you. Comment in the comment section down there below. Let me know that you know what I'm talking about that makes sense to you. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? Okay, so there you go. So that's basically what it is. Do I drink these straight? Never. <laughs> Almost never. I would never do like a raw taste test. It's just a little too intense no matter what it is. I usually mix a little... San Pellegrino in the mix, right? Or so, or whatever mineral water is on sale. I shop at Costco, you know, and Costco has their Kirkland version of soda water. When that goes on sale, guess what? That's going to replace the San Pellegrino. Just saying, unless San Pellegrino is watching this video and they want to sponsor me, hook me up with like a year lifetime supply of San Pellegrino. Just saying, just saying, wishing, hoping for the best. Anyways, I hope this video out there helps someone out there. Hit that like button, comment down below if it did. I'm the old coot. Check out the description section down there. There's some links to some pretty cool products. And I will catch you all in the next exciting video.